Hello friends. In the today's session, we are going to discuss uh, toxicity symptoms of atropine poisoning and its treatment. Now, all of us are aware that atropine antagonizes muscarinic effects of acetylcholine. Side effects and toxicity symptoms of atropine are the first symptom is a dry mouth. Uh, acetylcholine increases the secretion of saliva whereas atropine antagonizes secretion of sal saliva therefore atropine causes dry mouth there's difficulty in uh, talking and there's difficulty in swallowing atropine also reduces the secretion of sweat and therefore it results in dry hot skin it results in hypothermia and uh, there is fever Atropine causes relaxation of smooth muscles of uh, urinary bladder and therefore there is retention of urine and difficulty in maturation. Uh, it also reduces the peristalsis in the GIT and therefore uh, there is a, a fall in the bowel sounds and uh, uh, atropine poisoning causes constipation. Uh, further atropine causes the dilation of pupil, it, in, it induces midriasis. And because of midriasis, there is a photophobia. Uh, apart from this, atropine causes ataxia, that is inability to coordinate skeletal muscles. And uh, it further produces delirium, that is madness, something madness-like situation, uh, visual ha hallucinations and confusions. And uh, it also produces tachycardia. So these are the side effects and toxicity symptoms of atropine poisoning. Atropine poisoning can be diagnosed by the use of uh, uh, cholinergic drug. Uh, no muscarinic effects are induced by the use of methacholine 5 mg or neostigmine 1 mg when administered by the subcutaneous route. Now the treatment of atropine poisoning, uh, gastric lavage, if the atropine is consumed and it is, uh, uh, it is believed to be present in the stomach and it is not yet absorbed then gastric lavage with tannic acid is performed in order to remove the poison uh, from the stomach. So gastric lavage with tannic acid if the poison is ingested, it is in the stomach. Now since there is midriasis photophobia, the patient should be kept in a dark quiet room. And since the uh, atropine causes rise in body temperature, uh, cold sponges and the ice bag should be applied to the uh, skin of patient. And the physostigmine crosses the blood brain barrier. Uh, so, physostigmine it is an anticholine asterase, it, is, it crosses blood brain barrier. It antagonizes both the central as well as the peripheral effects of atropine poisoning. Physostigmine 1 to 3 mg subcutaneous or intravenous is administered to antagonize central and peripheral effects of atropine poisoning. Now, so uh, physostigmine is used as an antidote in the treatment of atropine poisoning. Apart from this, it is very essential to maintain the blood volume of a uh, patient. Uh, now, the, if the patient is not able to breathe properly, then uh, assisted respiration should be provided. And uh, if convulsions are observed, con convulsions uh, should be controlled by the administration of dizepam. So, this is how uh, the treatment of atropine poisoning should be performed.